Hi everyone, welcome to Virtual Tweak. On today's episode, how to create a custom made Windows XP installation disk and one free file of the show which is CD Burner XP Pro and also how to download uh, Windows updates using Firefox. You can find all the software links in my web blog which is virtualtweak.com. You can send me an email. My email address is virtualtweak at gmail.com. Welcome to our show. I'm going to show you how to customize your Windows XP installation disks. I'm going to use a software called Nlight. So this is Nlight. Download and install Nlight. You can find the software link in my web blog which is virtualtweak.com. At first we have to extract the data or copy the data from the Windows XP installation disks to our hard drive and uh, there are two ways we can do that the first one is uh, to copy the data from Windows XP installation disk to our hard drive manually or we can use Nlight to do that work at first I'm going to show you how to do this work uh, using Nlight once you install and uh, run Nlight click on next and click on browse over here and my Windows XP installation disk in my G drive so I'm going to select that I'm going to click on OK now Nlight is uh, <clears throat> wants me to select a folder that that will uh, Nlight will use to copy the data from the CD drive or Windows XP installation disk to my hard drive so I'm going to click on OK and in my desktop I'm going to create, uh, create a folder named Windows so I'm going to select Windows over here and click on OK. Now Nlight is copying all the files from my Windows XP installation disk to my Windows folder over here. Now so you can use Nlight to copy all the data from your Windows XP uh, installation disk to your folder. But if you don't want to use Nlight to do that work you can also copy all the data by manually. At first, I'm going to click on my computer. Right click on your drive that has the Windows XP installation disk and select Explorer. Once you are in the Explorer window, select all the data. I'm going to press Ctrl and A and I'm going to copy all the data and paste it in my Windows folder. I'm going to click on right click and select paste. So now all the win data from Windows XP installation disks is going to con uh, going to move into my wi Windows folder in my desktop. Once you finished copying all the data all the data from the Windows XP installation disks, Nlight will show you the version, Windows XP version information, language, path and the total size of the disk. If you manually co copied all your data to your hard drive you can click on the browse and select the folder you just copied all the data from Windows XP installation disk to your hard drive and click on OK Nlight will show you all this information uh, including version number path and total size then click on next click on next and this is the fun part, fun part it is asking me what I am what I am to do with this uh, Windows XP installation disk. Obviously, I, I want to include a service pack, so I'm going to click on that. I want to include hot fixes and updates. I'm going to remove some of the stuff from Windows XP, and I'm going to click on options. I want to see some options, and I want I also want to tweak my Windows XP. And at last, I want to create a bootable ISO file which I'm going to show you how to burn this ISO to a CD or DVD so you can boot into that uh, Windows XP installation disk. After that click on next. I'm going to add service pack 2 with my Windows XP installation. Download the Windows XP service pack 2 from Microsoft website. You can find the link in my web blog. Once you download the service pack 2, you can select the service pack 2 over here. I downloaded service pack 2 over here so this is service pack 2 I'm going to click on select and I'm going to select Windows XP service pack 2 file I'm going to click on open 
Once you click on open, Enlight will extract all the data from Windows XP Service Pack 2 and include that in data with my Windows XP installation. So after that, click on next. Now I'm going to add Windows XP hotfixes and updates to my Windows XP installation leaks. In order to do that, you have to download an ISO file from Microsoft that has all the Windows XP hotfixes and updates. So this is the ISO file I just downloaded earlier. It has all the Windows XP hotfixes and updates. You can burn this ISO file to a CD, but I'm going to use Daemon tools to mount that ISO to a virtual CD-ROM drive. So this is Daemon tools is running right side over here. I'm going to right click on Daemon tools, select virtual CD-ROM and I'm going to mount an image and I'm going to select the Windows XP ISO file that has all the hotfixes and um, updates in it and I'm going to click on open. Now I can access this ISO file uh, from my computer. Let me show you. I'm going to click on start my computer and I'm going to select this ISO file and I'm going to open. As you can see this is all the hotfixes and updates for Windows XP. So go back to Enlight and click on insert and select the virtual CD or DVD ROM drive that has the Windows XP hotfixes and updates ISO file. I'm going to select that file and click on Windows, click on Windows XP and these are all the hotfixes and updates so click on the first one select x86 select english and select this exe file click on open now click insert again and go back to the main directory and this is the another folder it is called 911564 this is the hotfix or update number so I'm going to double click on that x86 and English and I'm going to select this exe file I'm going to click open so go through this all these steps for these uh, hotfixes and updates once you finish all this stuff uh, add all the hotfixes and updates from that ISO file click on next and click on OK and Enlight is asking me which components I want to remove from my Windows XP installation disk. For example, I don't want some of the games, Windows XP games because I don't play them. So I'm going to click on application and I'm going to select games. So Enlight will remove all the games from my Windows XP installation disk. And also I don't want the accessibility options. I'm going to click on that. I don't want briefcase. Uh, I don't want chair map. I don't want uh, paint. I don't want the screensaver stuff. So if you don't want anything, just click on the plus button and select the options you want. You don't want to install with your Windows XP. I for example, in languages, I don't want Arabic, I don't want this uh, Central Europe and stuff like that, Thai. So this, select all the languages you don't want to install with your Windows XP. So w once you're finished with this stuff, click on Next. Now you can enable and disable some of the stuff. From, ex uh, from example, when you boot into Windows XP, uh, installation decks, um, uh, your computer asks you to press a, any key to boot into a image file. You can disable this. Uh, that means when you install a window, uh, when you boot into a Windows XP ISO file, your computer will automatically boot into that uh, ISO file and uh, will not ask you to press any key. So play with this, and after you finish all this stuff, click on next. You can tweak some of this uh, Windows XP stuff and uh, if you want to tweak stuff and click on that and it will <coughs> save your stuff and uh, include that with your Windows XP installation. After, after that click on next. 
now uh, it is asking me do you want to process all the stuff that means it will include all the uh, tweaks hotfixes updates service spec to and create an iso image uh, for us to burn into a cd or dvd Enlight created a custom made uh, windows xp iso file for me uh, that has all the windows xp hotfixes and windows xp updates i also included uh, service spec 2 and i removed some of the components such as games from my windows xp installation and this is the iso file and we have to burn this iso file to a cd or dvd that brings me to my free file of the show which is a free cd or dvd burning software it is called cd burner xp pro and this is cd burner xp pro it is totally free and uh, i like it a lot it's like uh, similar to nero dvd burning software and uh, once you uh, install and launch uh, cd burner xp pro uh, click on file click on write disk from iso file and select the iso file and like just created for us the custom made windows xp iso file i'm going to select this iso file and click on open and uh, cd burner xp pro will burn that iso into a cd or dvd uh, of your choice and uh, boot into the cd or dvd and you can install your custom made windows xp uh, let me uh, give you a review of uh, cd burner xp pro you can burn uh, audio cds dvds and you can also read uh, audio cds and it <clears throat> it is quite look uh, similar to nero dvd burner if you have nero uh, you can try it out but before you buy any cd or dvd burning software i highly recommend you to try cd burner xp pro it is totally free and try it out website of the show is uh, win windows update dot 62 ends dot com uh, which is a website you can use with your Firefox to download Windows updates and if you don't want to go to a Microsoft website and download Windows updates and uh, if you are if you are using a pirated copy Windows XP you can use Windows update dot 62 ends dot com uh, to download Windows updates so you don't have to worry about uh, Windows validation uh, program or some, something like that and uh, it is uh, quite easy once you in the website click on scan for updates and it just works uh, like a microsoft uh, windows update check it out to download your windows update and uh, that in uh, concludes a uh, virtual tweak uh, episode and uh, you can find all the software link in my web blog which is virtualtweak.com and you can send me an email my email address is virtualtweak at gmail.com and you can also leave your voice message and uh, the phone number is 206-350-2450 and uh, if you like virtual tweak and uh, please add yourself to your uh, to my virtual tweak forever map uh, so i can see who is watching and uh, i just want to create a virtual tweak group so add yourself to forever map and uh, thanks everyone for watching send me an email and uh, post your comments to my web blog Take care. I will see you next time.